reading friends this is sara today let's learn about toko the hippo toko the hippo is written by ben nasbaum toko the hippo it is a quiet day along the zambezi river a pond of hippopotami relaxes in the warm water toko the youngest member of the family lifts her head above the water she takes a breath of air and then swims under the surface toko is a 1 month old hippo she does most things under water she even drinks her mother's milk under water you can see how the fishes are so near the hippopotamus and toko is swimming along with her mother toko lives with her father her mother and 12 other female hippos all the females in the pod look after toko and protect her they are her aunts and cousins the river is full of life sable antelopes drink up river from the hippopotamus family the antelopes know not to get too close to the hippopotamus family Hippos are so strong and so big that they can be very dangerous. The hippos fear only one animal, the crocodile. An adult hippo is too large for a crocodile to fight, but a young hippo like Toko is defenseless against a crocodile. Toko climbs on her mother's back and wraps her forelegs around her mother's neck. Toko is safe as long as she is on top of her mother. See, she is so safe. She is so excited. Just like a human mother would pick up her baby, Toko's mother is carrying Toko. With Toko on her back, Toko's mother wades into the deeper water. She wants to submerge as much of her skin as possible to avoid overheating in the scorching African sun. Hippos spend most of their time underwater to protect themselves from the heat and to avoid insects that bite. The hippos hear something in the distance. It is an unusual sound. Something strange is floating down the river towards them. It is a canoe. People inside are snapping pictures of the hippos. They especially want to take pictures of baby Toko. The hippos do not know if the canoe is dangerous or not but they will protect Toko. Toko's mother shrugs Toko off her back. So she puts Toko into the water. Slowly Toko's mother swims towards the canoe. The other hippos make a circle around Toko to protect her. From the surface Toko is invisible. She is nearly covered by water and surrounded by her family. Toko does not know what is happening. She is very scared. The people in the canoe snap more pictures. They do not know very much about hippos. They do not know that Toko's mother and aunts will try to protect her. Finally, they have enough photos. They put away their cameras and pick up their paddles. Tum, Toko's mother bumps the canoe. She does not want the canoe to drift any closer to Toko. The people inside paddle as quickly as possible. Tum, Toko's mother hits the canoe again. Luckily, the canoe does not capsize. So the mother wants to protect Toko. She wants to chase the canoe away. Toko can hear the thumps made by her mother striking the canoe. Toko is still surrounded by her aunts. They squeeze against her and she can barely move. Toko's aunts protect her so well that no animal can get to her. The canoe speeds up river and Toko's mother stops chasing it. She turns back towards Toko. Toko's mother is still worried. Her heart is beating very fast and she is alert. Gradually she calms down when she feels it is safe. 
In the days and months to come, Choco will grow larger and stronger. Because of her mother's care and protection, Toko will be safe and healthy. Someday Toko will have her own baby. She will protect her baby as carefully as her mother protects her. Just like human beings, they have their mother and father to protect a baby. We see the hippo is also protecting her baby Toko. Thank you.